you're gonna be getting a lot of information before you go. So you're as prepared as possible when you step foot on that plane to go to whatever destination you signed up for to be successful and to meet that one special person. If they know anything about us, they know about our group tours. Uh, and I think a lot of times they think that that's pretty much what we're all about is just taking guys over, doing the group tours. We do a good job of that, you know, and then it pretty much ends. And, you know, guys, our service is so much more than that. It's so much more personalized than that. And, and I just want to get that out there um, because I don't think we do a good enough job letting you know how much service you get before and after the tour. be getting calls from us, you're going to be getting emails, you're going to be getting links for videos, you're going to be getting agendas, you're going to be getting orientation videos, you're going to be getting a lot of information before you go. So you're as prepared as possible when you step foot on that plane to go to whatever destination you signed up for to be successful and to meet that one special person. Um, it's not just about, okay, sign up for the tour, you know, meet us here and things are going to happen. No, you're gonna you're gonna have as much information as you want. Now, some guys you know don't want to partake in all that, and they just really want to just go over, and that's fine. But you know, if you really want to prepare yourself, then we have a host of information that you'll have to really get yourself ready uh, for an experience of a lifetime. And guys, it doesn't end after the tour either. I mean, during the tour, I'm not gonna get into everything that we do during the tour because we talk about that all the time, and there's a ton of videos on the site about that. But, you know, after the tour, we, we still assist when you come back because now you've you started some relationships and things are going on. And I always talk about these relationships being this little, little tiny fire in the, in the forest and it's kind of raining and you're trying to keep this fire going and you're putting little twigs in it, you're blowing on it, and you're trying to get it to be a big fire. That's kind of like what a relationship is. You got to really work at it, and nurture it and make it grow. And that's what this is all about. And we're here to help with that. And there's a lot of things that you don't even think about that go into this. It's not just about you and her. It's about you, her, and her sphere of influence. Um, there's people around her that are going to influence her decisions. I'm working with a client right now um, who went over on her tour. He met a wonderful woman. And they're in love. And they're working on the fiancé visa. But there's some issues with her, her mother. Her mother's not really happy with what's going on here for, for a few reasons. Um, and so... I'm not going to go into all the personal things right now because this is happening now, but I'll talk about another case that happened several years ago and, and the gentleman had, was one of our executive clients, met a wonderful woman as well. And um, her father was against it because there was a larger age difference there, right? And so the father was like, eh, not too sure about it. And, and these women, you know, they're going to listen to their friends and their family. And so it's so important that when you go over that you meet the friends, you meet the family, you make good impressions because that's going to make the transition so much smoother. Um, but in this case, you know, the father was kind of adamant about it. And we helped with this, this client. We worked with him. Uh, we helped write letters to the father um, about the intentions and, and how much he loved uh, his daughter and um, what he was gonna do, and what her life is gonna be like and all this. And, and, and we also made suggestions uh, to help um, this client, um, his name was Peter actually, to help Peter um, kind of mend that fence and to win the father over. And it almost got to the point where he was doing such a good job with the father that his future fiance was starting to get jealous of the father because he was getting more attention than she was. Um, but sometimes you have to go that route and you have to make these things happen. And, and we helped him throughout that whole process. And now they've been happily married now for several years and they have children and, you know, everything's going well. Um, and again, right now we're working in that, on that with, with another client, same thing. And I've been going back and forth with that client. Um, and that's just one example of, of a plethora of things that can happen um, when you go and you meet someone just like here. Uh, guys, it's no different really 
When you meet someone, there's going to be all kinds of different factors that can come into the relationship and you have to deal with those. And sometimes when you're dealing with foreign cultures and a foreign country and distances and things like that, you have to be able to overcome some of these things. And I just want to let you know that we're here to help with those things so that when you go over and you come back and you met someone that is very special and you're moving forward and little issues come up or even if a big issue comes up, you can call us and talk to us about us and we'll give you advice and where we can support you, we'll support you. Where we can help you, we'll help you. Um, that's what we're here for. And so um, I think that that just doesn't get talked about enough. Um, you know, we're not just some big name, nameless, faceless company that just takes you over there and, you know, turns you loose and good luck and see you later. That's not what we're about at all. And um, actually, I'm very proud of, of all of our staff and all the different cities in which we operate and how much attention they give to our clients and how much work they do with our clients um, before, during and especially after the tour is over. They continue to help and to assist. And, and to me, that's so important. Um, you know, we look at this as, as something that's very personal, very special um, and very important. And so when you come back, we want you to be successful. And if that means doing some extra work to help you navigate through some issues that are happening, then we absolutely will do that. And, um, and you know, all I can tell you is that until you try, you'll never know. But once you start working with us and see how we operate, you'll see how personable we are and how um, reactive we are to when there is a problem, we try to resolve it as soon as possible. All right. So guys, I just wanted to get that out there. And if again, if you have any questions about this, um, or maybe you have gone over, or maybe you are experiencing something um, with your relationship, you know, feel free to pick up the phone and call us. We're here for you. Happy to help you with anything that's going on. You know, there's not too many things that we haven't dealt with or heard about um, or experienced in the last 21 years. Do you feel like your search may be hopeless? Check out our website at acapulcawoman.com. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. Then click on the notice bell to get notified every time we add something new.